Today we are going to talk about how to get better at EDC by yourself. I can promise you that by the end of the video you will know what exactly holds you back from climbing regardless of your rank. So with enough discipline and determination you will be able to get better reasonably fast. Hi, I always thought that statistics are the best representation of your abilities. Usually they don't explain why are you good or bad at something, but at least they show your strong and weak sides, which is good enough for me. So when Mobalytics released the application, I was kind of hyped about it. Sadly, it took some time for me to figure out how should I work with it. However, after analyzing a few streams of Moriarty over at Mobalytics Twitch channel, I think I have a good idea of how you can improve with the site by yourself. It works for Moriarty, it works for me, and I don't see any reason why it won't work for you. When we open Mobalytics GPI, we see 8 categories with a lot of metrics inside of them. When I saw this graph, my first thought was that a good player needs to be well-rounded. Basically he should be good in all of these areas. And the better he is in all of them, the better he is as a player. However, I was wrong. League of Legends is a team game, and in a team game everyone has a role with their concrete duties. Your goal is to be good at doing what are you supposed to do. This means that to climb in solo queue, your GPI doesn't need to be well-rounded. In fact, according to Moriarty, there are only 4 metrics that matter for the 99% of solo queue players. The winning formula for solo queue is pretty simple. You want to have good scores in game impact, which is fighting plus aggression, in farming and in survivability. Let's start with the fighting category. Fighting has 6 metrics, but as an ADC you have to be good only at 2 of them. These are stat contribution and team fights, which makes sense. ADC is supposed to be the main damage dealer of a team, and most of his damage should be done during team fights. Farming is the most crucial stat for ADC. If you have bad scores here, fix them before trying to fix anything else. ADC is a role that scales with items. To get items you need to get gold, and the most reliable way to get gold is to farm well. Key metrics in farming for DC are early and mid game farming. Solo queue is very chaotic in a late game, so don't bother yourself about late game CS scores. Survivability is another key category for ADC. Obviously it is important to not die for any role, but in case of ADC this is a core gameplay feature. ADC should die less than anyone else in the game if they want to be successful. Every time you are dead, you are not farming, which means you don't get more items. The two most important metrics here are teamfight death and overall death. If you will find that your overall death count is high, while teamfight death count is low, take a look at other metrics. They will tell you in which situations you should lower your death count. Now let's take a look at the example of a pro player profile, to know what exact numbers should we aim for and then moved on to the bonus part. As an example, I will use the profile of a G2 Reckless, because he's one of a few pros that play solo queue in the exact same way as they do in official matches. As we can see, he has exceptionally high numbers in stat contribution and teamfights. I think it is fair for us to set a benchmark of 75 to 90 in these metrics. Early and mid game farming are insane too, both being at 100. Survivability is one of the most iconic traits of Reckless, so his metrics here are insane too. Teamfight death is at 90 and overall death is at 93. There are two things that you need to understand in regards to these numbers. First of all, these are not some kind of gold standard numbers. These are comparisons to other players in your ELO, which means that having 93 in overall death equals to you being better than 93% of players in your ELO. Basically, to get to that score Reckless has to die only 3.3 times per game. But for an ordinary silver or gold player, something like 4 deaths per game will probably do the trick. Secondly, you don't need to get such high scores. If you will be able to get your main metrics to 70-75, you will all climb very fast. Obviously the higher numbers are, the faster you climb. In the bonus part. I want to talk about situations when you have main metrics at good scores, but you still can't climb. This problem might show itself when you will get to the higher ELOs, something like Diam 2 Plus. If you paid enough attention, you probably noticed that I never talked about aggression category. This is because it is a secondary category that becomes really important only at higher ELOs. When you are getting to Diamond 2 Plus level, 
you can't keep expecting that your opponents will do a lot of mistakes. Instead, you should start learning how to force your opponent into making mistakes. The key metric in aggression category is initiate, and it is at 84 for reckless. Another secondary category is the objectives. Here you should look at two metrics, dragons, 77 for reckless, and barons, 90 for reckless. Try to create situations where your team can take these objectives, and make calls by yourself, if everyone is too shy to make them. As a closing thought, I want to explain to you why does Mobalytics have all other categories and metrics if they don't matter for most players. When you will get to the really high ELO games, like Grandmaster or higher, every small detail will start to matter for you. For example, the consistency category can help you with building a good shelter for yourself. Versatility gives you a short breakdown of your weak and strong sides. Vision might not be the most important part of the gameplay for ADC, but you still need to buy 1-2 pings per game and contribute to your team's vision. Alright, let's recap everything we learned today. Regardless of your role, you don't need to be good at everything in order to climb. Instead you have to have good scores only in fighting, aggression, farming and survivability. The most important categories for ADC are farming and survivability. These two categories are your fundamentals and you need to have good scores in them, regardless of your ELO. Fighting score usually becomes relevant around gold. This is where just being strong and not dying isn't enough. You have to deal as much damage as possible during teamfights and skirmishes. Usually, you should start care about aggression score around platinum. It is extremely important to be good at laning in this elo, and if you want to get higher, you have to learn how to exploit opponent's mistakes during the laning phase. These four categories are your fundamentals. If you want to have a good consistent climb, you have to have all of them at least at a score of 70-75. Also, don't forget that your stats aren't compared to some gold standard stats. They are compared to the stats of a players in your elo, and having 70 in any category means that you are at 70 percentile from all players in your elo. Basically, you are better at this category than 70% of players of your elo. Obviously, when you will get promotion into the next league, your numbers might drop because your competition will get stronger. Long story short, working on your fundamentals is a lifetime thing, and even if you will be a tier 1 pro, you will still have to work on your fundamentals on a daily basis. Diamond is where objectives, which is a secondary category, should start mean to you a lot more. You also should focus on improving your score in aggression category even more. So, if you can't get out of diamond and your fundamentals seem fine, Take a look at how aggressive you are during the laning phase, and how do you translate this aggression into objectives. All other categories, like consistency, versatility and vision, start to really matter only after Master's ELO. Things like playing only one or two champions, playing when you feel bad physically or mentally, not warning enough, will start matter only in the highest levels of play. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment. Consider subscribing to get more videos like this. Also take a look at these two videos that are chosen specifically for you. You might like them. Have a nice day.